If you're looking to take your shoe game to another level but just quite can't afford sneakers like this, don't worry. Today we're going to be going over 10 different sneakers under 250 bucks. First up, we got the UNC Toe Air Jordan 1. And honestly, this is a beautiful sneaker. They did an amazing job with the materials and you can't go wrong with this color blocking. We've seen this done over and over again with multiple different colors from yellow to green to orange to purple, you name it. We've seen a lot of different options and I think this is honestly under market value in my opinion. I think these are gonna be worth a lot more money later down the line. So to me, I think this is a great cop and a great way to start off the series. Now these typically go around the low $200 range depending on the size, that's gonna vary on the prices as well. But either way, definitely a good cop under 250 bucks. Now let's take it to the next shoe. All right, next up right here, we have the Utopia Air Force One. Now I think this is one of the more affordable yet still stylish and hits a lot of different boxes when it comes to it because it's basically an all white Air Force One. You got a collaboration with Travis Scott. You got a lot of different variables on that as well and it's still affordable. For me I think this is a great entry level sneaker when it comes to collaborations, everyday wear, you name it, something nice to have in your collection. I think this is a good shoe, definitely worth being on the list. So let's take it to the next one. Alright now before we start this next shoe we got to take a stop at the second untied location because they just opened up this new store and y'all got to check it out. So as you guys can see, the second location is looking really dope. Now I had a shoe on my mind, but then I started thinking about it. The color of the month, Air Force Ones, this is a great option as well. You can get these for just over hundred bucks right in that mid range. And I'm telling you right now, they got a lot of good color options to go with different things. So here at the shop, every single pair is 125 bucks. And honestly, I think that's a really good deal, but let's take it to the next shoe. Hey, make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video as well, because I'm going to be purchasing one of these sneakers from this list and I could not wait to pick these up. And I'm so glad they got them in my size. Right here we have the Trophy Room Air Jordan 7s, which I think is a highly slept on sneaker. I, I'm, I don't know, I'm just saying, every time the Trophy Rooms come out, next thing you know, they'd be a lot of money a couple years later. And this is the same thing happening with these. I think it's a great deal. The materials are fire and these are just over 200 bucks right now. And again, I think what's bet that's basically retail at this point. They just, the price kept going down. So if you're looking for a pair, I think this is a great option for your collection, for a collaboration, for a dope new colorway and a different model compared to the Jordan ones and fours and something that you see every day. Now I know the last shoe was a really good option, but truly I think this one is a really good option as well. And these things are under 200 bucks. The black toe air Jordan one low OG. We've heard a lot of different responses from people on how they feel about the shoe. But me personally, I have multiple pairs in my collection. I wore them immediately when I got them and I plan on un in my other pair in the future because I know for a fact these are gonna stay around for a long time. It's a classic OG colorway. We've never seen this before on the low top. I'm basically giving you guys a review. At the end of the day, I love this shoe. I think it's worth being on the list and definitely in a lot of people's rotations. Anybody who has this shoe, you probably can attest to it. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think of these. Oh yeah, by the way, before we get started with the next shoe, make sure you guys use the discount code DNA show. That'll get you guys free shipping on all your orders. I'll have the link for you guys down below in the description as well. But the next shoe right here, we have the Wizards Air Jordan 3s, similar to the True Blues, but a little bit different. We talked about this in the past, a very affordable, sneaker and I do think these will rise in value over time we just have to wait and see what happens but right now just over 200 bucks a great option and threes you can never go wrong with honestly this colorway is fire and again this was an old PE back in the day now this shoe I'm sure we're gonna get a lot of comments about these. The Union Air Jordan 1s, again, they're not the Black Toes, they're not the Storm Blues, they're their own unique sneaker. Some people love them, some people hate them. At the end of the day, I felt like it was worth being on the list because I remember these shoes were really expensive and then the prices went down and they became very affordable. And everybody that has the shoe, they like the shoe. And if you like these and you want quality materials, a dope collaboration and something different in your collection, I think this is gonna check a lot of those boxes as well. So these are gonna be running that low 200, mid $200 range and I think well worth the cop. I have a pair in my collection. I haven't worn them just yet, but I truly think this shoe does look better on foot. So that's just kind of how I feel. If you guys like them, definitely a good option. Let's take it to the next one. All right, right here we have the Ama Air Jordan 12s. Again, materials, 
collaboration, different model. We're checking a lot of different boxes in today's video. I'm telling you right now, this shoe is fire. No matter what you may say about the pricing, because again, very affordable, very cheap when you think about it. This is a nice, nice shoe right here. So if this is something you guys are interested in, want to switch it up, add a different color tone to your collection, very clean shoe. The white leather version is nice as well. They don't have those available, but again, if you guys need any sourcing, you can contact them and they can find the shoes for you. Now let's take it to the next one. If you guys are enjoying this video and you watched this far, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well. Now for the next shoe right here, we have the Terror Squad Fat Joe Air Force Ones. Some people might call them the Pandas. Either way, I like these just a little bit more. Quality of materials, really, really nice. Affordable, collaboration, Air Force One, you name it. Again, we're checking a lot of boxes in today's video. And I I just don't have a pair yet in my collection. They don't have my size here, unfortunately, but if they did, just know I would be copping this shoe. So I had to put these on the list. Now let's take it to the next one because this one's pretty solid too. Like we talked about at the beginning of the video, the toe patterns you can never go wrong with. And this is all yellow. And I'm telling you right now, these things are so clean. Again, go Steelers. That's why I love this. But a very affordable sneaker when it comes to Air Jordan 1 options. And again, I think these will rise in value over time. Great addition to the collection. What do you guys think about these? To me, they're clean. I like all the options besides the shattered backboard. Either way, let's take it to the final shoe. Right here, the Clot Dunks. These are different. These are unique. Again, you love it, you hate it, whatever it may be. At the same time, collaboration, affordable, a lot of different variables when it comes to the sizes and prices. Either way, you're going to be at the low 200 to mid 200 dollar range on this sneaker. And I think it's really dope how they incorporated so many different elements between the previous collaborations and how you can see that throughout the shoes and the jewel on the side, the materials, even the Jordan collaborations that they have done over the years. So to me, I like the storytelling aspect of this sneaker. I'm pretty sure I did a review before. I'll make sure I link that for you guys down below if I did. And uh, I think it's a good option. How do you guys feel about about these let me know down below in the comment section now it's time for me to go get some shoes all right you guys i got the shoes i am excited i cannot wait to show you guys if you want to see what i picked up make sure you guys follow me on tiktok i'll be posting it over there later today i would never let you down yo if you made it to the end of this video i want to take your collection to the next level i built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well so if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how i run my businesses this is definitely going to be a place where i can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. I don't know if you guys saw, but there was a shock drop on sneakers app and the bread force just dropped on there. And as you can see right here, I was able to get two pairs on the shock drop. So if you guys are curious on how the shock drop works and how you can increase your chances of winning on the shock drops, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll make sure I make a video for you guys. I kind of made one in the past on different part of sneakers app, but I don't think I made one fully on the shock drops in particular so I would love to make one for you but again if you guys want to see that let me know and I'll be down to create it I like to make what I'm aware today. One one I would one. never let you down it's in my DNA the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it it's in the DNA